Well, disgraced celebrity lawyer Michael Avenatti facing nearly 100 years behind bars for allegedly attempting to extort millions from Nike and for a wire and fraud case out of California. Here's how he's feeling about it. What I will say is the way this has been framed is not accurate. It's just not accurate. You're facing, if convicted on all of these charges, up to the rest of your life in prison. Are you nervous? Well, of course I'm nervous. Are, I mean, you, are you scared? Are you concerned? I mean, tell us, I guess, as someone who, again, has a history of representing people and now you're on the other side, facing some serious charges. Um, I am nervous. I'm concerned. I'm scared. Wow, Jesse, quite a fall from grace for this guy. He was what on grace? He was he was on networks. <laughs> he was on networks. People were talking about him like he was a serious 2020 contender at yeah. one point. He got a lot of airtime. This guy, and now uh, he's in this position. What do you make of it? I think he's a classic shakedown artist, scam artist, shark, and he needed this big whale of Nike, the 20 million dollar payout to keep the house of cards from falling down on him. He is like uh, he's got the character of Jesse Smollett with the tastes of Paul Manafort. <laughs> While he was skirting all these taxes for 10 years, he spent $200,000 at Neiman Marcus, $270,000 at Porsche dealerships, $100,000 a month rent for a house in Newport Beach, and oh. forty grand what? for Ferrari lease payments. Oh, wow. The guy was stealing from clients, stiffing his own employees. And the IRS government. has been going after him for 10 years. He's wow. filed for bankruptcy protection twice. And this whole time, us here have said, I know this guy's a phony, because you know why? We have street smarts. <laughs> CNN, they might have book smarts. We have street smarts. We can, we can smell we a phony. We have street and book smarts. You do. You, we can smell a phony from a mile away, and everybody else bought this guy hook, line, and sinker, and it blew up in their face. This guy's so obnoxious, though, and so full of himself, I don't even know if he realizes yet what could potentially happen to him. What do you think? Uh, it's a shame he wasn't arrested in Chicago. <laughs> he, would get a, he would get a week of community service. I took my talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, let's rewind it. I'll erase it. The media still must be held accountable for this because they're the ones that gave him the spotlight. But you know who's having a nice tall beer right now? Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> Justice may be slow, but in this case, it's taking a correct course. This is a guy. So if you ever feel any pangs of sympathy for this uh, litigating lollipop, remember what he tried to do to Kavanaugh. And I think a lot of Democrats were mad because... Uh, you know, he only, he tried to do a better job at the public hanging. Wait, Juan said yesterday that the Avenetti allegations helped Kavanaugh. Yeah, well, I might have, they might did. have. Really? I, well, I, ask his daughters that one. Juan did. Yeah, that's true. I mean, come on. Yeah, it was it was horrible. Serial gang rapist in no, high school. You think that helped? I don't think that was ever proven. In fact, the fact that it came up empty would helped Kavanaugh because then it seemed like everybody was piling on. Everybody said due process. Because everybody all was. But it, it, I tell you what, I, I am I'm noting that Kavanaugh. Apart, something apart from Kavanaugh, which is Trump and Stormy Daniels. I think a lot of people are seeing this as payback on Avenatti, but I don't see it that way. I just think Avenatti is interesting to me that he says he's just an aggressive attorney. <laughs> I'm an aggressive attorney. He says this is not extortion of Nike, that he was engaged in threatening them, but people do that all the time in terms of settlements. I think he's got a twisted view of how you are an aggressive attorney. It's mm -hmm. gone over the line, and he may not know it. He should be scared, because he may be going to face real jail time. I think yesterday on the show we said, with the two different cases, years. one in years. L.A. in this yeah. one, a hundred years in jail. Yeah. Wow. Well, we'll be happy to pay his rent for him mm. if he's uh, <laughs> in prison for a hundred years. I was going to say that Avenatti needs Smollett's lawyers. How do you, <laughs> wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How can he not pay taxes? Like, how do people not pay taxes? I don't know. Fifty-six million dollars over ten years. I don't get that. I'm sorry. Not paying taxes is wrong. It is. <laughs> Good. I know that. Thank you. Book smarts. <laughs>